like to give a shout out to all the motherfucking wolves in attendance. You are now rocking with the motherfucking greatest, the world famous, Marty Grams. And this is the Marty Graham Show. Know what I'm saying? Now, if you ain't been rocking with me, or if you have been rocking with me, then you already know how I give it up when I give it up, man. I'm going to talk my shit like I talk my shit. I'm going to post it if you like it. Like it. Share it. Pass it. It's information that you really need, but you know, most you motherfuckers is hard-headed anyway. <laughs> Today, we're going to talk about the diversity in black culture. Now, I don't deem to be no expert, so I don't want nobody to jump in my fucking comments talking about, Grams, who the fuck is you to be talking about what's black culture? <clears throat> nobody. So now that we know that, now that we know that I'm fucking nobody, but I'm still going to report on it anyway, let's go with the first motherfucking problem. The first problem is the assumption, the general assumption that everyone black identifies with ghetto culture. Let's just like fucking end that today, right? And let me show you what I mean. If you watch the news like I do, right? Every time something happens that involves black people, they send it to the black reporters. Now you're like, yeah, Grams, we didn't, yeah. That's, yeah. And wrong. They in there reporting on shit about the trenches and they don't identify with the trenches. They have no empathy for the trenches and they rather have us exterminated. So now, back to what I was just saying. Everybody that is black does not identify with the ghetto culture, which now brings me into the first set of black people in ghetto culture. We all heard of them in the ghetto. When we in the hood, we heard of these type of people. We don't know them. We never seen them. They don't really exist because they never bring their ass down bottom. Yes, the rich, black, high society. We know them as the bourgeois. Yeah, the bougie motherfuckers. Y'all know them niggas, man. I ain't talking about the nigga that was from the hood that got a couple dollars and made it. Nah, I'm talking about them bourgeois motherfuckers. You ever see Daddy's Little Girl? The Tyler Perry shit? Remember the two friends? Them type of bitches. And and I'm going to keep it all the way real with you. Six out of ten? Hood niggas is knocking them bitches down anyway. Six out of ten, I'm telling you. Trust me. But anyway... They don't really be fucking with us. And and I'm going to tell you the irony in all of that. Because they despise anything that is associated with being ghetto. Right? Which is weird because in America, that's how you identify black people. As a stereotype. Whatever. However you would have said, this is not my opinion. This is just what they say. You know what I'm saying? And they fucking hate it. But now, the question I raise is, When our ancestors came here, they came off of slave ships. I don't think that they flourished in prosperity. I would believe that they were um, oppressed. And, And being oppressed, everything that you deem to be ghetto and distasteful and like fucking like poor and everything that, you know, they created like out of nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you hate. So, like, you know what I'm saying? That's just the FYI. They don't give a fuck. Listen to me. They do not give a flying fuck. They like this. I hate niggas. They worse than the white... What's boy from the Dave Chappelle skit? Yeah. Clayton Bigsby? They on it like that. But they got a couple dollars. Which now brings me into the next one. Which is the worst position in the culture. I'm going to keep it all the way with you. These are the people that... If you are here in the culture, I almost feel sorry for you. I don't, but I almost do. Like, just a little bit. Like, if it was out of 100%, you get 12% of my empathy, right? They are the middle. 
Not necessarily the middle class. I don't want you to confuse the two. No, the middle. They do not have enough money to be rich, and they do not have enough. They're not poor at all. Like, they're not even fucking close to it, right? They're just, like, in the middle. It's like, if they bring their ass to the ghetto, they are a robbery in progress. 211 in fucking progress. If they bring their ass to the ghetto, we don't fuck with them, and it, whatever. It is what it is. That's just how it go. They be like, oh, that crab's in a bucket. No, motherfucker, we starving, and you got it, and that is it. You might not got enough to go up, but if you come on down, pause, your ass is grass. And I'm just saying, that's just a fair warning to the people in the middle, you know, because y'all like to always come down and show y'all still deep in y'all roots. Yeah, you know, I'm still down with the ghetto, man. And you get your ass robbed eight times, eight out of ten, I'm telling you. I've seen it happen a thousand times. But anyway, now you know who you know who's next, the trenches. You know, you know what it is. A time, yo, listen. If you from the trenches, you love the trenches, man. That's all I can say about the trenches, and it's a love that you have from being there and understanding what it is to be from the trenches. You despise and hate a lot of things about it. I'm gonna keep it real with you. It's things about it that I fucking hate, but I'm not. See, the first thing you motherfuckers do is y'all get a couple dollars and y'all want to lead a hood. Y'all want to lead a ghetto. But I'm here to say that, right? We need to unite. That's just the reality. And in doing that, we got to start building back the blocks. We got to start building the neighborhoods back. And we're going to get into another subject that I got. But right now, I'm going to just leave it right there. Right now, we doing that, man. We building back the blocks, man. We building it up block by block, brick by brick, city by city. That's what we doing, man. We building this shit back up, man. To all the ghetto prisoners, rise, free the real, until the real is free. Marty.